Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel here. I know times are really uncertain and pretty confusing right now, so I appreciate you taking the time to be here and kind of chill out with me. Hopefully it takes your mind off maybe what's going on, but I hope you're all doing well given the circumstances and staying home, being safe. Hopefully you have somebody with you in your household to keep you company, and if not, you're doing a lot of FaceTime like I am because I live alone. But um, yeah, here's the video and some recipes to maybe try. So like always, I have my greens first thing in the morning with apple cider vinegar. I was at my parents here for my first day of quarantine with um, just to get in some time with my family before I went home to be by myself. So I'm making some protein chia oats here again. It's just my favorite way to start the morning. It's wholesome and it keeps me full and it's so, so delicious. So Pretty straightforward, you know, warm up your oats and let the chia seeds sit so that they can thicken up. Warm it up, add your protein powder, mix it all together. Always adding more liquid as you go. Make sure again that you add your protein powder after you're warming it up so that it doesn't get gross and goopy. I top mine with some banana here, some sun butter, which is so, so good. It's also a nice nut alternative. Some dark chocolate chips. And pumpkin seeds. Seriously, the most perfect breakfast. This is my sister's puppy, Winnie, and I named her, so she's very special to me. I would call her my niece. She is the best. She's so cute, except she loves to bite, but she's just a puppy. We watched um, the new Spencer movie, whatever it's called on Netflix. So me, Tess, and Dad, chilling out. After that, I made this sesame crunch salad. I kind of cheated and just used a bag stuff because that's what my mom had. Crumbled up some tofu to fry in a pan and seasoned it with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Gave it a good stir. And this is soft tofu, so I like to make sure it gets brown and almost kind of crispy. For the dressing, I combine it with water just because the dressing in the package is so calorie dense. So just to kind of mix that up and tone it down a little bit. Added in some of my own lettuce into the salad as well just to make it more voluminous. Some cucumber and then the tofu that I fried up. It's actually a really good store-bought in salad because I love the little crunchy pieces that they give you and the cranberries. I am not a fan of the amount of plastic that they use for it, but you know. Give it all a good mix up and you're done. Super easy, ready to go. After I was done at my parents and I was on my way home, I stopped in another town and got groceries where I ate these made good bites, the chocolate banana ones. They were okay, amazing. So I just got home. Okay, so I just got home and went for a little bit of a grocery haul here. So I thought I would show you everything I got and kind of placed it into sections. So first things first, everyone loves carbs. So I have my rice cakes, whole wheat flour because I plan to make some buns or bread or cinnamon rolls or something while we're in this quarantine. Some actual bread. Um, I like the Alpine grain one. I love when there's like little seeds and stuff in it. Uh, regular potatoes, a sweet potato, I already have one in the pantry. And then I found this simple vanilla um, protein pancake mix. So I thought I would try that. It's completely vegan and pretty good source of protein actually for a vegan mix. Um, onto vegetables, I got spinach. Edamame is also a protein source as well. Um, saw these I never buy pre-packaged things like this because I think they're expensive but this you know it's on sale and I thought why not try it so they're just squash rotini noodles uh, lettuce mushrooms 
cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, red cabbage. This is the yeast I bought to bake my bread. And then onto some fats. I love this flirt dark chocolate, raspberry and cherry. I never thought I would be crazy about fruit in my dark chocolate, but mm, so flippin' good. Uh, pecan pieces, all of their like bulk items and stuff were 50% off and they had them prepackaged because of, you know, keeping your social distance and not touching things. So that was awesome. Avocados, I always make sure there's like one ripe one and the rest are quite firm so that I have time to get through them. Cashew milk, I got two different kinds of tofu. I only usually like the extra firm one, but this is the only one they had, so then I had to get medium firm. But I don't mind doing like my tofu scrambles with this one because it's just soft anyway, so when you cook it for a while, like I did today in my tofu thing for my salad, then it's good. Uh, I have some bananas, but I got a few more. Apples, cinnamon, always need. Um, I have some beans in my cupboard as well, but I just stocked up on a few other things. So chickpeas, white kidney beans, then corn, diced tomatoes, and some mixed vegetables because I want to make soup. So that is everything I got today. That's clearly not everything I eat. I have more stuff in my pantry and fridge and freezer, but this is what I got today. I almost forgot I got these as well. Dill pickle spokes. Pretty excited to try them. I think I've had one of these flavors before, to be honest with you. But yeah. For my next meal, I am going to have this couscous kind of salad concoction I'm coming up with on the spot. Um, what I like to do there is put my seasonings on top of my couscous right away. Just was easy to get it done. So I did oregano, dill, and garlic powder. Added that to the pot. And then also topped it with some pink Himalayan salt. Mix it all up together and then turn down the heat and let it sit. Actually, I took it off the heat. <laughs> when it's done, after like five minutes, you fluff it with a fork. And couscous is as simple as that. You can also pour just boiling hot water over top of it and it does the same thing. For my bed of greens I'm putting that on, I did some lettuce and then I always just kind of rip it apart a little bit. And a little bit of red cabbage. Make sure you take off that outside layer, especially during this pandemic because who knows who picked it up and touched it. Then I added my couscous to the bowl as well, so that's a full cup. Then some orange bell pepper and cherry tomatoes, about a third of a cup of chickpeas, and some more pickled onion. I used this Caesar dressing. It's a vegan one. It kind of tastes not the best, but it does the job. I added some lemon to it as well, and then I really liked the taste of it altogether. Um, but it just doesn't taste like regular Caesar dressing, so... I snacked on some of this dark chocolate. It's honestly just so flipping good. For my next meal, I made this organic green lentil penne and alongside these jumbo veggie dogs. These are actually really, really good. And I'm going for some comfort food here. I'm going to make some mac and cheese, but vegan. So obviously you put those hot dogs in some water or boiling water, let it sit. Same with the pasta. Pretty straightforward. Drain your pasta, rinse it out. These are all steps that you guys should know how to do. For the cheese sauce, um, I'm taking the idea from Mina Rome. I'll link her original recipe down below. But you melt some vegan butter in there, add some flour, mix it together. I wish I had the actual utensil, a whisk. <laughs> add some non-dairy milk and again whisk that up together. Next up is three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Again, mix it up. Very important to keep mixing during this process so nothing gets clumpy. Um, add as much milk as you need. I think I added about a half a cup in total. Then I added some spices like paprika and turmeric, pepper and salt. And that's a little bit of tahini. And this is my favorite vegan cheese I've tried. It gets really melty. I wish I had a little bit more than what I had there just to make it more cheesy, but 
it ended up turning out pretty good so far. So I think I added a little bit more turmeric there just for the color mostly. And then the longer you let it sit, the more it'll thicken up. So I got to a pretty good consistency there where I add the pasta in and just mix it all together and check out that shot. Mm, so good. This is making me want it again right now. Then I added in one and a half, I think, chopped up hot dogs there. Mix that in as well. And there you have it. It was honestly so good, but I forgot I wanted to cook up those butternut squash rotini noodles. So I quickly did that after, and I just put a splash of water in there and mixed them up. And it was as simple as that. I then added it to the pasta, mixed it up, and this was so good. Like, can't wait to make this again. Highly recommend. For a little treat after i just mixed up some powdered peanut butter and put it on a rice cake with some hemp seeds mm, so good rice cakes and peanut butter never get old on to day two i started my morning off with some protein oatmeal again um i did promise to do something different for my third day but i topped this one with some almond butter bananas pecan pieces pecan pecan whatever you want shredded coconut, and some raisins. I love to crush my own coffee beans or grind my own coffee beans for my coffee. I think there's just something so wholesome about it. Anyway, just that's the type of coffee I'm using and in my special S mug. Um, so I finished off that jar of almond butter. I thought I would show you guys how I reuse my jars. So I just let it sit in soapy water for a bit and then get off what I can of the wrapper. Then uh, equal parts oil and baking soda. I just rub it on with a paper towel and then you let it sit for 30 minutes and it comes off perfectly after that. Give it a wash again and your jar is good to go. I'm filling this one with ground flaxseed. And you'll see why tomorrow. I stuck a little label on this one just in case I forgot. I don't usually label my jars, but... And then it goes up there with all my other mismatched jars, which I love. But yeah, super easy. For my next meal, I am having a tofu scramble. It is one of my favorite vegan dishes. So I'm just... I cooked up some red onion there first, then added the mushroom, and then my tofu... I used turmeric, black pepper, and pink Himalayan salt. When you're using turmeric, really important that you also combine it with black pepper because that's what um, makes the nutrients in turmeric more bioavailable again. I also added spinach and cherry tomatoes there, which you saw. Then I'm having two pieces of toast, one with avocado and one with this red pepper hummus. Then I just top it with my mixture i'm using half here and then i'll save half as well so it's about a quarter of a block of hummus or of tofu sorry and yep eat it just like that i top mine with a little bit of ketchup because i'm a psycho and it's delicious for a snack i had an apple make sure you're washing your fruits and vegetables um especially now more than ever with you know whatever is going on in the world we all know so this is my next meal. I'm having some greens there, like you saw, the lettuce and spinach, cucumber, and bell pepper, making a salad here in case you didn't know. And then I'm throwing on some pickled beets. Pickled beets are like my favorite. Uh, this is a dressing I made with just some mustard and whatever else was up on the screen there. I then added some chickpeas to it and pickled onions, the dressing, and what's coming next? Hemp seeds. Give it all a good mix again. And it was delicious. That homemade dressing was really good. You should try it. I had this Iron Vegan Sprouted Protein Bar. It was super, super good. I like their double chocolate one the best. For my next meal, I'm having a uh, wheat potato. I just cut off like some of the bad pieces because the skin is actually like really good for you. It's very nutritious. Cut them into these wedges, put them in the oven 
for about 20 minutes at 400 and then I'll flip them over after that and put them in again for another 5-10 minutes. I had five of these Gardein chicken tenders. They were really good actually. I was really impressed with them. I wasn't not sure what I was expecting but it was worth it. I also had some asparagus on the side and that's what my plate looks like. I used this badass barbecue sauce which was so good. I think I got it from somewhere in Saskatoon. To end my night, I kind of had something a bit random, but I had this mango and some frozen blueberries with chia seeds, and then I poured a protein shake over top of it, so this Beyond Yourself vegan vanilla one, and so it kind of like, there's also flaxseed in there and oats, and it kind of absorbs a lot of the liquid and then I eat it like that kind of like a fruit cereal <laughs> and that was my nightcap moving on to day three I start my morning off with yoga every morning and here you can see me trying to attempt um, my preparation for doing a headstand so I, I can't do it yet but I'm working on it the pandemic is giving me lots of practice time. For breakfast, I am making protein pancakes out of that mix I bought. So first, I'm just making myself a flax egg, which is just one tablespoon of flax seed ground up and then two and a half tablespoons of water and you let it sit for about five minutes. So I'm doing a half a cup of this mix and then I decided to add also a tablespoon of almond flour just because I think it gives a really great taste and two tablespoons of protein powder just for a little bit extra I'm trying really hard to get my protein up and it's difficult being a vegan. I then added the water necessary to it and mixed it all up. Just keep adding water as you need. And then I put my flaxseed egg on top. Flaxseed egg just helps it bind the concoction just like a regular egg would. It doesn't call for it in the recipe, but I thought why not add it in for a little extra nutrients. I then made my pancakes, obviously, and assembled them with some banana and then some powdered peanut butter, pumpkin seeds, and dark chocolate chips. I use the Enjoy Life brand, if I haven't mentioned that yet. And then a little bit of syrup on top. And these were really, really good. I was very impressed, very impressed. And then I binge watch a lot of Grey's Anatomy during this at homeness. I made myself a breakfast burrito afterwards for my next meal. So just a tortilla, some avocado, the leftover, a tofu scramble, and some red kidney beans. And then I topped it with corn and black bean salsa, which is the best salsa in the world. And that was that. It was super quick to make, especially when you have those leftovers, and delicious. I then had some carrots and hummus as well for a snack, and an orange. Naval oranges are so underrated. I feel like they don't get the recognition they deserve just because they're a little bit more time-consuming to cut up than an apple. I then, I usually have a big salad every day of some sort, so I used up some of the couscous I had left over and then made some more of those chicken strips and the butternut squash rotini things and added those to my salad. I also put some chickpeas in there and then cut up those chicken strips and topped it with some Frank's Red Hot Buffalo and the Caesar to kind of make like a chipotle ranch kind of idea to it and added some hemp seeds and cherry tomatoes. This was really, really good. That was the way to eat that Caesar dressing for sure. For my nightcap, I had some oats because I can't go a day without my oats. <laughs> um, so again, let those chia seeds sit for a bit, then warmed it up and added in some craisins, which I totally forgot about until I saw them in the store. Protein powder, almond milk, you know the works. Topped it with some peanut butter and frozen blueberries and a few more craisins. I loved this combination, so good. 
And that was everything I had to eat and kind of a little bit of what I did while in quarantine here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see from me or comment down below your favorite things about the video. Comments really help channel grow, so I would appreciate that. And stay safe out there, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.